welcome back to Easy Nails. Today I'm going to show you how to do an infill for the Lazy Girl Nail Method slash Opre Nail Method. So these nails that I have on here are the Lazy Girl um, slash Opre Nail Method. So I'm going to show you guys how to quickly infill those. So what I'm doing is I'm going in with a coarse carbide um, carbide bit and my um, my drill here is set pretty high and what I'm doing is I'm just trying to get off all that old product and you guys this set here I will have a video coming up on it it is using MVP's um, chameleon shards set so I will have a look coming up with those but here I'm just showing you guys how to infill lazy girl opre nails and basically you want to start by getting off your old product and making your nails as thin as you can because we do not want our nails looking bulky. So this drill bit here is again extra coarse carbide drill bit and the point of this drill bit is just to get off all of the bulk from the nail, remove your previous product and then we're going to go in with another and what I love about this you guys it has a safety bit on it so you will not cut yourself on that. And then I'm going to clean off all that dust and clean my nails with um, a rough brush here and rubbing alcohol. And super important to always clean your nails, you guys, especially when you are doing infills because the dust accumulates so much that you can't really see what you're doing and where you're drilling. So make sure you clean it up. And you guys can see I have a little bit of lifting there on the middle finger but pretty much not much lifting here. And you guys can see how thin the nails are. They are pretty thin, but you don't want to do it too thin that they'll break, but try to get them as thin as you can because we're going to be adding product on top. We're going to be doing an infill and we don't want them to be bulky. <clears throat> so this is a really good cuticle bit, you guys, and I am just pushing back the cuticles with this bit and I am just um, taking off the shine excuse me, from the natural nail that is exposed there with this bit as well. I am going on a really, really low speed, you guys. I am really just gliding this against the nail. And then here is where you take off any lifting and just the excess shine from the natural nail. This is a coarse sanding band. And you guys, I am going so, so softly over the nails, really just gliding over the nails. You do not want to put any pressure on your nails. And this is going to remove any lifting. You just go right where that um, product ends. Um, hold your, your sanding band right there and it, you literally see any excess lifting or areas. They're just going to fall off and they're going to look a bit discolored. And that's going to know that's going to be a way how you can know that it's lifted. So you want to make sure that you get off any lifted product and take the natural shine off your nails. And we already did our cuticle prep here. So I'm going to clean the nails again really, really well with this rough brush and rubbing alcohol really, really well, even underneath the nails, guys. Make sure you super, super get into all those grooves. So you're going to see that everything looks nice and perfect. Now I'm applying Young Nails Protein Bond. Just a little bit, you guys. I do one swipe for the entire hand. So I dip it in once for the entire hand. And um, now I'm going to go in with my brush here and I believe this is a number eight brush. Um, I recently went up to a number 16 brush, but when I'm infilling my own hands, I like to work with a smaller size brush. I think this is number 10 brush. Um, I'm using clear, you guys, and I'm applying really, really small um, medium beads, not too wet, more on the drier to medium side so that I can mold around with it. And basically what you wanna do here, you guys, is you place it a little bit away from the cuticle, not on the cuticle. Then you're gonna take the tip of your brush to lightly push and feather it towards that cuticle, not touching. And then the rest of that product, are just gonna lightly feather down the nail, really, really light strokes, really soft strokes. And if you get any on the cuticle, you guys can see, just use the side of your brush to clean that up. Um, this is the easiest way to infill Opre Lazy Girl Method Nails with acrylic. You can also use poly gel or hard gel, but here I'm using acrylic. 
And now I'm going to show you guys how to use the Zoev acrylic. I'm going to try to attempt to do a one ball method. That Eve, the owner, that is what these were intended for, for um, one ball applications. Um, I know a lot there's like mixed reviews on her acrylic. Some people think it's too dry. But I actually, the first time was a little bit difficult. But once you really figure out the liquid to powder ratio, these um, acrylics are a little bit drier. So you want to make sure that you hold it in your brush and wait about a minute or so before you go on your nail. So just pick up a bead, hold it in your brush for about a minute, and then you'll see the acrylic on there starting to polymerize. That's when it starts to turn shiny on the back of your brush. And that's when you want to go and place it down on your brush and then wipe your brush. You'll have some residue on there wipe it off and then go in with the dryer brush and you basically just are like molding these these um these acrylics work almost like um i would say like play-doh even that would be the best example they're like super moldable um super super easy to work with i really really enjoyed them um so yeah i, I really really loved the um acrylics here again they did take a little bit of time to get used to you guys see i picked up a bead i held it on my brush for about a minute that is super important you guys to hold the brush the bead on your brush for about a minute when doing the one ball method with zoev acrylic um and then place it on your nail wipe off your brush and then it's seriously like molding play-doh it's so easy and nice to work with it doesn't run so you can basically just pat the acrylic to go wherever you want it to go. And um, there's also another way to apply these acrylics, you guys, where you drain um, the excess monomer on the back of your paper towel. And I will show that in some upcoming videos so you don't have to wait that long. You don't have to wait a minute with it on your brush. You can probably wait like 10 seconds, not even. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And these acrylics, you guys, are super great for beginners. Um because they give you such there's such time to work with these i think it's like a four to six second application window so you can really just work with them like these glitters usually when i apply glitters i have to go in with the clear and then put the glitters on top or go in with a clear bead and pick up the glitter and with these because it's a slowing dry time and the acrylic really doesn't move i literally just picked up these glitters and pressed them into that acrylic after i applied them and the acrylic was still moldable to let me do that. So it literally is like encased in the acrylic without any clear, which is totally awesome. And then I'm using her clear acrylic here too. And you guys can see how moldable it is. It's literally like working with Play-Doh. I absolutely love it. Um, and it was really easy to do the one ball method. You guys, I've always wanted to do that. And super, super easy with these acrylics. You just have to be patient with them. That's like the biggest thing is like the waiting time. But after that, you're going to see that they're so, so moldable and easy to work with. And I'm even able to like encapsulate here almost in one bow, which was super, super cool to me. I absolutely love that. And this is a super way, easy way, you guys, to infill those um, lazy girl method nails. I know I got a lot of questions about that. And similarly, the opre nails, how to do infills on those. So this is how you would infill lazy girl method nails with acrylic. Um, super, super easy and how we are using the Zoev ac acrylic with the one ball method. So you guys, these are all filed and buffed. I did that off camera and again, super, super easy. And you guys, I was working here. Um, I'm right handed and I was doing my left, my right hand. So I was working with my left hand. So if I was able to do that on my right hand, working with my left hand, this is all done left handed. Um, I think you guys should be able to too. It was just really taking my time and working with it and it was really, really easy. So I highly recommend. Um, I know that she doesn't have any acrylics now, but I think it's a restocking in March. So keep an eye out for that. And um, I am just using some um, Swarovski stones that I had here. On the first finger, I'm basically doing a cluster of three stones here on the first finger. And to apply those, you guys, I just in, went in with some builder gel. And then I did use the Zoev No Wipe Top Coat right over that. And then I placed those stones in there. And using applying bling like this really just 
acts like shrink wrap so the stones will not move i still have these nails on now and they are doing absolutely great um her no wipe top coat is really great you guys it's like a thicker consistency which i really really love in top coats i'm not too watery it's a thicker consistency and it applied really really nicely it's a no wipe top coat again so i'm just curing those I applied some cuticle oil, you guys. Sorry, I'm testing out my lighting here. And that is it, you guys. In fill for the Lazy Girl Nail Method and using a one ball application method with Zoev Acrylic. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. I absolutely love the way these turned out. They're super short and adorable. I'm in love with them. I hope you guys are too. Please, you guys, um, subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Uh, hit that subscribe button. I have a giveaway going on. Make sure you go and enter that. It's a fun little acrylic set. So, you guys, that is it. Applying cuticle oil, of course, to nourish back up those hands. And these nails came out absolutely beautifully. And I am in love with them. I hope you guys have a great day. Um, again, hit that subscribe button, like this video, comment below, and I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys enjoy. Bye!